It may be a lazy Sunday afternoon guys, but in this video I'll be talking about recovery and all that jazz and how you recover from those Sunday long runs. Meanwhile, I need to go for a shower and change. Whew. I'll be seeing you shortly. Ooh. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, yes, welcome, happy, happy Sunday. Sunday, yes. This time while you're watching this, this is a pre-recording, a pre-recording, a pre-recording. I know, do you see what I've done there? Anyway, today, yes, let me have a quick sip of this tea. So the question of the day is, what is your top recovery tips after a training session or after a race? Yeah, after you've ran a hard race, what are your recovery tips? Do you have a top one, two, three? You can put as many as you want, maybe keep it to uh, three, three at the most, your top three. Yeah, we can inwardly digest that. Pun intended, by the way, inwardly digest, yes. And um, three, have you got three? Yeah, just leave one. Top tip, leave it in the comments below here of what your recovery uh, tips are. And, uh, ah. For those observant among you might see that this is a very large mug. And today's tea is a lemon, ginger and ginseng infusion. And whilst I, um, what, what would be the word, whilst I indulge myself for the uh, Brits among us, um, those here in Britain, this isn't no ordinary lemon, ginger and ginseng. This is an M&S lemon. Ginseng infusion. <laughs> yes, my friend, Eminence. A little bit indulgent here for my uh, British uh, viewers. Yeah, I think you might get the joke, but uh, yes, <laughs> lemon, ginger, and ginseng. Yes, normally I'll just have lemon and ginger. That's what you get in other supermarket stores, but MS want to do the lemon, ginger, and ginseng infusion. Delightful. Anyway, I'm here talking about Lazy Sunday Afternoons. By the way, thank you for the uh, the faces, that song. It's a cracking song from long, long time ago when music was actual music. Yes, lovely to hear. Yeah. So, you may have talked, if you have been watching me regularly, and uh, you'll know I've been talking about mentioning the recovery di diaries, um, and I've got some ideas banged in about because I've been reading a book and I'll, and I'll refer to that book because uh, it's absolutely brilliant, enlightening for me and a light bulb moment as I'm sure it'll be for many of you. Some of you may have already read it or will be reading it because I'll leave a link below. It's no Amazon link or whatever or discounts or anyone. I don't make any money from it. But obviously if you want to help and support my channel, there is a link there coffee.com slash Donato where if you find these things useful you can help support me directly through that and not through any um, affiliate type program and um, but yes anyway recovery for me I think I've learned so much in the past uh, six to twelve months more than I have in the previous many years for all sorts of reasons um, one is I'm probably learning more about my body in terms of how it works and so on. And also I tend to use more of my common sense and trust my instincts more now than I did in the beginning. Because in the beginning I was easily led by uh, a number of people. And I won't talk about and digress those types of people, but we know they're about everywhere, aren't they? <coughs> yeah, and, um, and when I was reading magazines like this, and you see things about contrary to popular belief, and it leads me to believe how things become popular belief, and usually comes from one source and then is propagated by a number of certain influencers, celebrities and so on. Here in the United Kingdom, on a serious note, um, celebrities are now banned from promoting any form of diet or health type things. So that's my understanding. I may have missed that, but I understand. Correct me if I'm wrong. Leave it in the comments below of British viewers. Celebrities are banned from doing any diets. All these fad diets that appear in January, they are banned because it's misleading, misinformation and so on and so forth. And I think a lot of misinformation is out there, which is why when I stumbled across, I had a happy accident. Here's the book. It's called Good To Go. Yeah, absolutely brilliant book. I've read this cover to cover. And, uh, and I've actually messaged the uh, author. I'd love to have her on the show here. Um, Christy Ashvanden. 
apologies if I've pronounced the surname incorrectly, Chris Christie, um, but uh, it says here one of the best science writers in the world, that's from David Epstein. So it's how to eat, sleep and rest like a champion, and I say it's called Good To Go. It's, uh, it is absolutely brilliant. I loved reading this because a lot of the things where sometimes I see things and I think like, what's that I smell? Hmm. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a bit of, um, a bit of BS I smell out there. Yeah. And uh, this book, she's done the research and proving that most of it is a load of BS. Yeah. So what I'm going to talk about, I might do it on Tuesdays, yeah, but not this coming Tuesday because when I come back from Poland, I want to show you just, um, the race and so on and so forth. So it won't be this coming Tuesday, but maybe coming Tuesdays where it'll be like a tutorial Tuesday or teaching Tuesday or whatever, something like that. I, I don't know, maybe move to a Wednesday, but it's just a thought I'm knocking about. And I'll talk about my experiences and what I do because I truly believe recovery is the most important aspect of being a runner or any athlete. It's all about the recovery. The training and so on is, as I've said a number of times, is the training that we do stresses our bodies and gives the impetus and so on to make our muscles, body, heart, cardiovascular, all that kind of stuff, to stress it and uh, give it the stimulus that the body needs. But it's the recovery, how we recover from that and, uh, and improve because in my opinion that there is an awful lot of misinformation out in the the internets and the world out there and uh, the misinformation comes from all sorts of sources and some of it and this book touches on it as well where there is scientific research to uh, allegedly say that some things are good bad or indifferent and um, but it's such a small amount of test cases, such a small volume amount of tests, it's not being tested long enough and it's inconclusive, inconclusive. So really they shouldn't be banding it about. And uh, we often hear these stories about um, root ginger cherries. I think in here it's talking about cherries, um, aging recovery, I mean for real. Um, there's, there's so many things out there, insoles into your shoes that help you run pain-free. I mean, I'd love to see some of that helps people run pain-free, totally. Um, that isn't anything to do with how their running form or training that they do to help them do that. That it's just, you put in this magic insole and boom, it all works by magic. So yes, I mean, I found only this week, um, I've got the stats to prove it as well. Have a look at these uh, kilometer splits that I've done this week. This is from my Garmin, yeah? This is absolute factual information. Have a look at those splits. Incredible, yeah, incredible. And uh, that day, have a look at what I ate and drank. Yes, I had some uh, red wine, mm -mm -mm. and then also I had some uh, cheesecake and uh, a latte, coffee, yeah? And uh, so, does red wine, cheesecake and latte make me run that fast? Those are incredible splits, aren't they? And those are the kinds of splits that we often see on social media and maybe not that outlandish. Have you spotted the faux pas, by the way, yeah? And things like that get out and the misinformation that gets misread, misquoted, and hopefully this won't get passed on and misread, misquoted, um, because those, I'll explain where those splits are from. It is from a Garmin, it is factual. It, you know, I didn't uh, go in and type in the information um, and make it look that way. Um, I've seen all sorts, I've seen people go out there and I, I, I could go on and on. I've seen so much, it's just unreal over the years. And now I've learned to trust my instincts. And that's what I wanna share with you guys because as I've said in the previous one, the people who watch this were all smart. S-M-A-R-T. What does smart mean? It's sometimes, maybe, always recovering and training. That's right. That's what we are. That's what we do. Those of you guys who leave a comment each and every time you watch, and I really do appreciate you guys who do come here watching all the time. It's fantastic and giving the thumbs up, which really does help the channel, and subscribing, wherever that subscribe button is. is we're all smart and I've learned to be smart myself. It's all about the recovery and the training. Yeah, recovery, training, recovery, training. When it comes to race day, it happens. I've got, uh, whilst you're watching this, I'll be running. I may have even finished it by the time you watch this. Depending on what time on the Sunday you see this. Um, the Gdansk Half Marathon. I've got a vague idea what time I could come in in, um, if all, all things being equal. And I've written it down somewhere and I might share that with you after the uh, race. 
because it's based on my training. That's 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 all I can base it on. And as as I mentioned before, things can change on the day, and it may impact me. You know, things like health on the day, the weather conditions on the day, all sorts of things. Yeah, I think I need another sip of this tea. <sighs> so for me here, I this this channel is all about what I do. You guys who follow, I'm guessing you're assimilating the things I do. I really do love my running. I really enjoy it. And I want this to be a place where people who want to enjoy their running more or actually still enjoy their running to come here and share their, share their stories, share their comments, feedback and info with us because I want to know from you guys, yeah? And maybe I should have said this at the beginning. I might edit this and put this at the beginning, yeah? So the question of the day is what is your top recovery tips after a training sessions or after a race, yeah, after you've ran a hard race, what are your recovery tips? Do you have a top one, two, three? You can put as many as you want, maybe keep it to uh, three, three at the most, your yeah, top three. Yeah, we can inwardly digest that, pun intended, by the way, inwardly digest, yes. Um, three, have you got three? Yeah, just leave one. Top tip, leave it in the comments below here and what your recovery uh, tips are and uh, and I'll be going through some of it I'll, I'll use pointed on here but it'll be based on my experience this whole channel I don't give any advice I don't advise anyone on anything and um, because I don't want to get sued <laughs> yeah so it's my experience is what I do and it's up to you guys what you do with that information yeah I I'm not here to advise you what to do Hey, do you like that? There's a poem, and I didn't know it. Just in the same way as for me, it's all about recovery. Hey, 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 hey. So I'm a poet, and I didn't know it. Yes, poet with pace. That's another name that uh, some people have me, as well as the running guru. So that's enough of me wittering on on this lazy Sunday afternoon. I got no time to worry. Close my eyes and drift away. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Maybe I should stick to the running. You've been watching Donato here on the Running Guru channel. Yes, thank you all so much for watching. Really do appreciate the time that you take to come and watch these videos each and every time I publish them. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and have a look at the latest and greatest video there. Thank you all so much. Bye.